Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we got something that's cheap and easy for you. We like cheap and easy, but it's also good. We got uh, my take on a roast beef sandwich that's, like I said, quick and easy. So, y'all sit back, relax, and uh, I'll get to cooking. Alright y'all, like I said... This is going to be a cheap, easy uh, meal. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to make us up some Texas toast, garlic toast. So, just get them laid out. And I do have my oven preheated. And just cook it according to the box. You know, all right, get that all, get that done, put this in the oven, and then to get our beef going. I got me some onions sliced up thin here with some garlic and some butter. So we're going to put that on uh, medium high heat. We're going to get that sauteed up. And then we have to make some au jus. And we're just using the packet au jus. So. <coughs> got two cups of water here because that's what the package calls for. And then I'm going to dump that in. Get us a little stirring device here. Get that all whipped up in there. Of course, you guys can't see anything because my arm's in the way. So, I want to mix in there. I'm going to turn the heat on, get that good and warmed up there. I need one of them power stirrer things, deals. Alright, that looks like it's mixed up there good enough. Now, I know y'all could roast your own beef and everything else too, but I'm using lunch meat style. So, but uh, to the au jus, I do want to put just a, just a touch of pepper in there. Because I like a little peppery on mine. So, all right, I'm gonna get these onions and garlic all sauteed up and everything. Get the uh, au jus cooking, and uh, we'll bring you guys right back. All right, y'all, got our au jus. That's uh, all kind of heated up. So we're gonna start putting our beef in there. It'll warm up. And our onions are just about softened. So we're going to, after we get the beef in here, we'll uh, pull the lid and reduce the juices and stuff from the uh, onions. Kind of get them caramelized a little bit. And then uh, we're going to add those to that just to give it a little extra flavor. So. Now, you could roast your own beef and slice it yourself and do all that, but like I said, cheap and easy. It's the way we like them. So, all right, get that pushed down in there. All right, we're just gonna let that simmer and warm up. Get rid of our little container here. I'm going to pull that off of there. Our garlic's already starting to brown. And our garlic bread's done. So, now I'm going to throw it under the broiler. 
to to uh, get it browned up a little bit because I like you know a little bit of brownness. So I'm trying to find my oven mitt. There we go. Let's make sure that it's oh yeah, it's done. So we'll let it under the under the broiler there for a few. Make sure you keep an eye on it because you don't want it burnt. Just want it kind of crispy. Y'all, this smells so good. So, all right, I'm gonna finish this up, get that combined, get that garlic bread browned, and uh, bring y'all back. All right, y'all, got those out of the oven. Off from the broiler. This one got a little warm, but it'll be all right. So now we're gonna take and push it and make a pocket down in there. Cause we gotta have some place for our beef. Last one there, got that. Now, I'm gonna use two different kinds of cheeses because I'm gonna make two different kinds. First four, we're gonna do four and four, are gonna be a provolone. So we got that. And then, I love me some Swiss. So, we're gonna make four of them out of Swiss. The oven's still hot, it's not on. We're gonna take these, pop them back in the oven where it's good and warm, and let that cheese melt. So, do that. And as you can see, we got the, uh, we got the uh, beef over here getting all nice and warm and yumminess, so. Mmm, that smells so good, y'all. Got them onions and garlic in there. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to let that cheese melt, and then uh, we'll bring you guys back and get this all thrown together. All right, y'all. Our cheese is all nice and melty now. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Look at that. So... I'm going to bring our beef over here. We're going to put two, three pieces of that roast, in, roast beef in each one. Let's see if we can get a little onion with them. And you may have to, you know, depending on how much beef and stuff you have, you may have to move a little bit around if you get a little too much on them. But usually two or three slices per uh, slice of bread works great. Oh, this one here, I know I have an extra piece on there, so. All right, there we go. See if we can get some onions on these things, too. Because the onions are deliciousness. A little onion on there. And y'all, in my opinion, the onion and sauteed onions and garlic are what makes this recipe so good. Get 
get a little bit more on you for that one there. We got her. A little bit more on that one. Don't want it to be overwhelming, you know. All right. Good enough. I think we need a little more for that one. See if we can dig a little bit more out of here. A little bit there. Ah, there we go. All right, now that looks delicious. Nope. We're going <clears> to <throat> top this off. This is our provolone ones up here. Just remember where you put each one. So There's that. Get our Swiss back out here. Not that it would taste bad with, you know, two different kinds of cheese, but, you know, we want them individual. We want to keep them separated. So, all right. Now, I'm going to pop these back in the oven because it's still hot and melt that cheese on top and then we can do our taste test. So, bring you all right back. All right, y'all. Got them out of the oven there. That cheese is all nice and melty. We got us a little cup of au jus. And uh, so we're ready for our taste test. But uh, I'm going to let these cool a little bit so I don't burn myself and I can actually enjoy the flavor of them. So when they cool a little bit, we'll bring you back and we'll do our taste test. All right, y'all. Time for the taste test. Got a little au jus sauce on there. So I'm going to do a little dippy dippy action there. Mm. The crispiness of the bread. You can taste that, that roasted garlic and onion. Mm. It just makes it so much better uh, than your just average, ordinary, you know, roast beef sandwich. So, and the garlic bread. Everything's better with garlic bread. Garlic bread and bacon. You know, <clears throat> maybe next time we'll throw some bacon on there too. Wow, that would be like over the moon. So, anyways, I'm getting off subject here. Appreciate you all watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Get all the videos from here in the kitchen, out in the shop, and at the tractor pulls. So, appreciate you all, and as always, bare appetite.